What is up guys, Jeffrey Gaming here, welcome back to my F1 2016 career. This is round 17, the Japanese Grand Prix. If you're new to my channel, then do remember to subscribe for my career mode and other types of videos. But concentrating on this, if we have a look at the driver's standings now, it's an intense battle at the top between the two Mercedes and Sebastian Vettel. But that battle for seventh is getting very tasty indeed. We got the better of Bottas recently, though maybe... Um, no, last time I was a good race, that was Malaysia, and then before that was the Singapore retirement. But uh, yeah, in terms of the rivalry, after two races, I'm getting absolutely battered. And why I'm against Raikkonen, it's stupid. I'm going to be nowhere near him. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much going to give up with that one. In terms of vehicle performance, we did seize R&D a couple of races ago, and we're solidly in fourth. I think that's... We're going to try and aim for fourth in the constructors. It's going to be a little bit tricky. We are quite far behind Williams at the moment, but we can we can uh, improve and try and get up the table. But five races to go. It's going to be an exciting finale to this season, and I can't believe it's gone so quickly. I've enjoyed it so much. So let's get into qualifying. First run in the end got us up to P12, and I always drop behind my teammate after my first run. And on my final lap, I always get told, "Oh, Julian's faster than you." He tells me about three times every time. It's so annoying, and it kind of spurs me on as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to come to the line. Hey, a bit of oversteer. We're about three tenths up. Where are we going to end up? Can we beat our teammate Julian and the engineer? Doesn't sound too happy, but I'm happy with that. P9. Yeah, I'll take that. In the top 10 in the Renault. So, yeah, that's a solid drive there. Around, uh, yeah, it's an alright track for me. So, uh, yeah, we've beaten our teammate there. And the top Vettel gets pulled from the two Mercedes to continue this amazing championship battle. Any surprises? Not really. We're behind the two Williams, who we're probably going to be battling with in the race. And then further down, actually, Haas are really underperforming. Like, I was battling Haas earlier on in the season, and yeah, their progression has been awful. So, in terms of strategy for this race, it's either a three or four stop, which, yeah, I find that pretty strange. But uh, it seems like... It's going to go soft, soft, medium, then hard. I was trying to mix it up, but uh, yeah, I couldn't be bothered. And I was trying to uh, delete one pit stop, I think. I'm going to try and go for a two stop here because going on two soft stints doesn't seem like the optimum way to uh, get through this race. So, yeah, we'll probably mix it up with the harder tyres. But uh, yeah, we had a bit of an interesting scenario. We did the first, well, we did the race in my first attempt. We had this incident come up. Um, yeah, Bottas is going for the overtake, but uh, we have Kvyat coming out the pit seat. We go for the overtake on Kvyat around the outside. Bottas absolutely wipes us out for no reason. We take out Kvyat, but as we go into the replay, yeah, the game just didn't like it. It didn't like that Bottas took me out and thought, yeah, I'm done with this. I'm going to restart this race for you. Wow. Thanks a lot, F1 2016. Thanks a lot, but we're going for attempt number two. Four, five lights, and the Japanese Grand Prix is off, and away we go. We get a pretty good getaway there, actually, but uh, I think Button on the right hand side's got a much better start. He's going to go up the inside. We're looking for a gap. This is a very tricky first corner. The AI just seem to plow into each other sometimes, so uh, yeah, this has been pretty clean compared to usual. We're looking for the gap around the outside of Massa. We're sliding up his inside. And have we got him here? His teammate's so slow and it's held us up. Massa's going to come back. That could have been a bit of a team teamwork there between the two Williams. But uh, yeah, we're battling these in the Constructors' Championship, so wouldn't mind getting ahead of them. And yeah, we've maintained our position. Button's having a look, but no, he's not going to go for the move there. So we've maintained our ninth, but uh, we're on the prowl right here, looking at the Williams. And let's see if we can... Uh, Pounce anyway into the hairpin. Do a bit of a Kobe Ashi from a few years ago. Probably a bit too tricky here. Yeah, very tricky to overtake, and especially on the first lap when the tyres aren't really up to temperature. But let's see if we can set the uh, Williams and Massa up ahead. Let's see if we can go through Spoon Lab, maybe compare straight lines, but actually, we're really closing in with Rich Mix, and it's great to see Sparks back. Um, yeah, I think pre patch there were no Sparks at all. But yeah, it's good to see them, and I'm virtually pushing Massa through the Exeter Spoon. Come on, lad. You are very slow, but with Rich Mix, we've got a great run here on Massa. Can we go for the move? He's very close to his teammate ahead. He pulls out, and now we've got a wall of Williams. We just can't get past him. We actually back off, which turns out to be the right decision as we get both of them. Coming into the final chicane, that worked out perfectly. It was a good tactic to back off, actually. But uh, yeah, the wall of Williams nearly halted us from getting past and we made uh, we made two positions up on that uh, first lap 
So yeah, it's been a good start overall. So coming on to lap three, yeah, Massa stuck onto the back of us and looks like he's going to go for the move. But I've learned from that incident um, that cars on the inside cannot overtake into turn one because they always go wide like that. The AI, yeah, they just can't get the move stuck. So I, I remembered what Bottas did to me in the uh, first attempt. So yeah, made sure not to uh, drop too far behind. Otherwise, he'd come up and just... Uh, Rejoin the track very dangerously, but on to lap 4 now, we're on the back of Verstappen and look how far back we are. Going for this overtake into 130, yeah, we're going to go for it. He is incredibly slow, but no, we've gone off the track. I seem to do that on every single race around Suzuka. Go for the move on the inside and then go off the track, so I was waiting to see if uh, Verstappen was going to go into the pits. And I don't think he has actually, so I'm going to let him pass here. Yeah, I like to be a good sportsman, of course. Don't want to cheat by overtaking off the track. So we let uh, the Red Bull back pass, but uh, yeah, he seems very, very slow in a straight line, and we try and pounce straight away, we're trying to go around the outside of turn two, which, uh, yeah, I don't think that's an overtake which happens too often, and now, and <laughs> we're later on in the lap, and it's going to be a similar scenario, this time I think better of it. I'm going to back off, and then probably go for it into the chicane, we are coming into the pits, so this overtake doesn't matter too much, but that's a very solid overtake, taking a leaf from uh, Max's book there, but we're coming into the pits. We've come in a lap later than a few other cars, but hitting the marks, that's very nice coming in. And we're going to go onto the hard compound tyres. Instead of going for the soft, which my uh, engineers recommended, I feel like this is the way to go. Let's see if we can stretch these tyres out and potentially go for a two-stop. So potentially making one less pit stop, and in some cases, possibly two than the cars around us. So we've kept Bottas behind us, that's imported. He is on the soft tyres. Hulkenberg... Um, is Hulkenberg letting me past? Does he have a brake issue? I don't know, but I got the move done and Bottas got past him quickly after him. But uh, yeah, Bottas is uh, t on the uh, two compound softer tyres than us. So you'd think this should be a pretty o easy overtake for the Williams. He's going to go for it round or down the inside, going into 130R. Are we going to fight back? No, because there's a yellow flag. What's going on here? There's a car and Lewis Hamilton is out the race, the championship leader. What has happened there? Um, let's see in the replay. He's trying to overtake a Sauber. Oh, oh the Sauber has taken him out and he's got cla uh, What's the clamped? I, I don't know what I was going to go for. They're clamped. Uh, crashed into, bashed into, just pulmerized by a car coming through. So yeah, championship leader is out the race. And we're on the back of NASA. I wasn't going to go for the overtake, but I was so close that I felt I had to go for it. Locked up, we've gone too deep, we've gone too deep. NASA's going to get through. This was Stappen as well. We're side by side. We are on the same compound of tyres. So effectively, we could be going for the same strategy, but we've got a decent run on the very slow on the straight line. But Stappen, oh, he's closed the door there. I don't know why I went for that. I don't think I would have gone for a move around the outside of Spoon, but uh, yeah, I tried to keep, keep my nose in there. And we've got Kvyat behind us on medium tyres, putting us under pressure. So... Yeah, things are going to get very interesting in this pack of cars. Hopefully we can dispatch Anaza and Verstappen. We're closing him very quickly. Double overtake going into 130. Yeah, this is very risky, but we go down to 7th and we get the move done. Oh, that felt so good. That's one of the most satisfying moves I've done. We're just closing in on, in this replay. Three wide going into 130R. Oh, a brilliant move. That is so enjoyable. And imagine that in real life. That would be so scary. Yeah, the, it's not really the optimum line going into that corner. So, yeah, getting it done. Very nice indeed, though uh, Verstappen does come past us here to take third place. We try to fight back because the AI go wide when they're on the inside for turn one. And we maintain the position, staying in third. And now lap 11. It looks like the, it looks like the clouds are closing in. But there's, apparently there's no threat of rain, so I don't know, we need to look out for that. As Verstappen goes for the move, we got an awful run out the final corner. I think Kvyat's coming through as well, and he does. We yeah, don't really fight it too much, but we're down to fourth. Kvyat, his run of form recently has been amazing. He came second in Monza. I think he got a fourth place somewhere as well. And that was he had like 15 points for ages, was miles behind his teammates. So yeah, things are looking great for him, which is a total contrast to real life, by the way. <laughs> Unlucky son. So we're coming through the final corner. What's going to happen here? And we've got a safety car. And I actually make a really late decision. It's time to go in into the pits. Yeah, I thought that was the time to change strategy. Uh, slowly entering the pits so we can change tyres. So we're going to go onto the medium compound tyres. And we drop down to, what's it, P8 here? P9 behind Verline. I thought it was a good opportunity to make up some time. And it's weird. Oh, it's kind of... 
I suppose, lucky in a way that the safety car came out at that point. Perez did retire. Um, I'm not sure if he crashed out or something, but this is going to throw a spanner in the works of signs. I think has been disqualified. When a car goes like that, that usually means disqualified, and I think he crashed into the safety car, which deeply concerned me because, yeah, what's going on here? I haven't been this close to the safety car in this game yet. Furlan finally goes past. I thought he was going to go right into the rear end of the safety car, and we go past. Look, there's no disqualification or anything, but a few laps later, finally, finally, this period seemed to last for ages. I'm sure a few girls can... Uh, oh, no, I'm not making any jokes there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they wait till the end of the safety car period to go into the pits. Great strategy there. So the AI, I've said it loads of times, a dumb in terms of strategy with the safety car and weather and things. But that puts us up to P6. And there's a big group of cars ahead of us. They're battling quite hard. We couldn't keep up with Raikkonen. And there's a span Mercedes. It's Rosberg. What's wrong with the Mercedes in 130R? Oh, my God. The two championship leaders are having a shocking race so far. And this is what happened to Nico. Is it going to be a car come back on the track? It, uh, Rosberg kind of clips the Toro Rosso there. That's weird. Oh, no. This is a scary place to be. Oh, no. The Sauber smashed into him. What is he doing with his life? He has so much time to see Rosberg and just doesn't do anything. And that is both Mercedes out the race. Unbelievable scene to you. Raikkonen's into the pit. So is Kvyat. Which, is that P3? P2? We're up to P2. And at this point of the race, I was considering going to the end of the race on these tyres. But the thing is, ugh, I wasn't sure if they were going to last. Vettel goes into the pits now. So everyone is making their final pit stop. And I have the lead of the race. And I just want to point out, probably for the first time this season, it is a Renault 1-2. Julian has jo joined me at the top of the field. Brilliant feeling right now, but my thoughts were, can I stretch these tyres out? The gap is down to 16 seconds of Vettel, and he closed in one and a half seconds on the past lap. And oh, my front right tyre was wearing so quickly, I just was devastated. And I thought, we can go for a short stint on the softs. Let's see. If we, we'll probably drop behind a couple of cars, but can we fight back? That is the thing here. And we're going to come out in P4 behind Raikkonen, Verstappen and Vettel. So let's put the car up to rich, the engine up to rich mix on these fresh soft compound tyres. Can we catch up to the top three and six, get on the podium at least? And we do our best and uh, go, get the fastest of the race, which did help in our quest, but... We just didn't have enough. The cars ahead were just too quick for us. But we are closing in here. Verstappen has car trouble, which the engineer told me. And he did hold up Raikkonen a little bit. So Raikkonen's just got past here on the penultimate lap. But if we have a good run uh, coming on to the final lap, we well, we could get Verstappen. He does have issues. I don't know if we can get Raikkonen and Vettel. He's clearly going to win this race. So I don't think I've thrown away a victory. Um, I feel like if I did stay out on their medium compound tyres, they would have got really worn, especially the front right. I feel like that would have gone, using my maths, to high 80s, 90% wear, which probably would have resulted in a puncture. And then a much worse finish, but you can see here how slow Verstappen is. We're surely going to dispatch of him. We just need to find a place to overtake. Oh, he cuts us off again. He does cut you off a lot. Since I've been racing him in this career... Yeah, he seems to be causing a lot of problems for me, just like the Ferraris in real life. But uh, yeah, we're just looking for the opportunity. No chance in these S's. Trying to go for a switch back. We've got a great run here. Can we go for it? This is very risky into digging the one. Side by side down here is not going to work. But going for a switch back, we think about digging the two. But then we think again, nah, that's too risky. But into the hairpin, if we can get a decent run here. We can go for the move and get third position. We've got a fantastic run. We tried it on NASA before and messed it up. And it's a late decision locking up. But I think we've got it done. Better traction. And yes, we've got the move done up to P3. And it looks like we should get a podium. We've come out in 130R. And we're all good. Coming through the final chicane. And here it is, guys. Yes. Celebrate with me as we score our second podium of the season. What a feeling. I was so happy. Oh, we've worked the strategy pretty well there. I think that's the best we could have hoped for, and it's P3, another trophy for the ever-expanding trophy cabinet. Yes, on the podium with the two Ferraris, so as a Ferrari fan, that's a pretty good feeling, as uh, Vettel aggressively squirts me in the face. Sick. But uh, yeah, 15 points to the tally, and yeah, it was an exciting race overall, I did enjoy that one. Do leave a like if you did as well, so there's the result, the two Ferraris and myself on the podium. 
And yeah, it does seem that Alonso and Kvyat seem to be pouncing in these pretty crazy races. Kvyat scores yet more points in these last few races. So Parma gets points as well, which is fantastic. He doesn't score points often, but when he does, he seems to uh, score the bigger points. So six more points. And you can see quite a few cars struggle. The two Mercedes retired. Ricardo finished 11th. So yeah, some of the midfield runners scored some pretty decent points, including ourselves. So in the driver's standings, Vettel really did take advantage of the two Mercedes. Look at that lead over them. But that battle is going to be epic in the final four races this season. Hope to have you guys on board for that. And in the battle for seventh, we're 15 points ahead of Bottas. We, yeah, we dominated the Williams in that race. So things are going well for us. Julian moves up to 15th and he has 22 points now. So in terms of the constructors, we should be pretty, yeah, pretty good standing. I think we should close in on the Williams thinking about it. So yeah, could we be fighting for P4 after all? We're only seven points behind actually. So yeah, that should be a very intriguing battle for the rest of the season. So if you haven't enjoyed this video, do leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the rest of my career and I'll catch you in the next race. Goodbye.